Hello everyone. How's everyone doing? Um, I just thought I'd do uh, an update as to what's happening in the home garden and uh, give you a quick tour of what I've been doing over the uh, lockdown period. Hope everyone's keeping fit and well. Uh, I've been quite busy here, just pottering on in the garden. Ideal time should have been to um, do some videos and stuff, but I've never really had the opportunity. Obviously, the kids and stuff have been here with us, and uh, we've just been busy, really. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll give you a quick guided tour of how everything's moving along in the home garden. So we have a glut of uh, sweet million tomatoes, absolutely glorious. Um, the little and Harvey had uh, sowed all these seeds and he's just been picking, picking for days. Uh, we've been cropping these since about, I would say, early June. So you can see the leaves at the bottom are starting to, starting to die off now. Um, but they're still putting on new growth at the top there. I've still been keeping on top of the watering. As far as the um, the air pots are concerned, they're doing a cracking job for growing tomatoes. And leeks, well, obviously there's not many shows going to be happening this year. Um, I'll zoom out a little bit. There's not many shows going to be happening this year, but the leeks are still doing okay. Can't really complain. Got a bit of a uh, burn off someone on the on one of the leaks there but um yeah we're fine they're sitting around 16 inches now 16 inches in uh circumference so they're looking canny um what have we got we have got chili plants i've just watered them it's been a, a very hot day of the day again and they are looking canny bit deficiency in the uh, in a couple of them I've just started putting some uh, mills feed in them so these are all in uh, mills ultimate soil and well they're doing canny kind of really complain for such a small pot they're in a, um, a three litre pot we've got a uh, we've got bell peppers on we've got uh, purple jalapenos there and uh, I'll try and find some reapers I'm sure we've got some reapers in here uh, what's this one? This is Poblano, and these are well, these are the reapers here. They're just starting to form. Very difficult to see. We can see the shape of them there. The evil looking things. So that's in the Kida. Um, outside. So I planted some. Um, what what potatoes did I plant again? I think there were. Oh, but yeah, I've just took them out of the pot there. I kind of think off the top of my head. Charlotte, I think, and we also planted some Maris paper. Um, cracking crop. I should have done a video, really, but um, totally forgot about the camera. Um, as I say, I've had the kids with this. Uh, basically, the whole of the lockdown. Um, Harvey's been helping us out quite a bit. So, yeah. So, this bed here, we've got um, the dahlias in. Well, for the for five, five beds, I've got dahlias in. Um, there was put in like not all at the same time. Uh, I put a couple in each each week, um, but they're looking canny. Well, the majority of them are looking canny. See the difference with the ones that that I lined this bed with uh, Mills Ultimate Soil. Um, the soil that I've well, I've, I've just utilised what what was here. Um, basically, it was inert. It's never any feeding, um, so I just whacked them in because I've just put all these raised beds in over the last I would say the last eight weeks or so um, and I've opted for railway sleepers as opposed to um, scaffold buttons which I used in the allotment only really got three years out of the scaffold buttons um, so I went for the, the sleepers and hopefully I get about 10-15 years out of them so um, so yeah the soil that I, that was in here it never ever been grown and I wouldn't have thought not in the last 50 year or whatever so I didn't really have time to put manure or anything else in so I just stuck whatever I could in and uh, see what will grow basically um, but what I'll do this winter is I'll, I'll probably put like a late feed on them with a blood fishing bone and then I'll um, I'll put it uh, like manure on them um, but 
the dahlias will, will basically grow on anything. A couple of the varieties struggling a little bit. Uh, I think that's Kenora Challenger. They'll still come. Um, I highly doubt that I'll be showing anything this year. I'm not really... Like with the coronavirus and stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm not really fussed about going to like public gatherings or anything like that, so, which is understandable for most people. So I'll just mainly grow for home um, and just get my head around growing again. Because I, I sort of had a year out last year with, with building a house and stuff. So just get what I can out. I'm just letting everything bud up and flower. So basically I'll just grow them grow them for the house really. Um, I put these in about a week ago. I was going to keep them for um, for pot chewers, But I thought, oh, sorry, I'll just keep, stick them in. And I'll just get a layer crop of flowers. Uh, beetroot. Butternut squash. The beetroot are fantastic this year. And I've got some brassicas there, which the pigeons have absolutely hammered. Um, not like me. I didn't have a chance to cover them in time. And within three days, they were just about eradicated. And you can see how poor the soil is. It's absolutely solid. It's like concrete. But things are still growing. Give them a good feed and they'll, they'll just continue to grow. So I've got sweet corn in the corner there, which is absolutely spot on. Can't really complain. Um... Greenhouses wise, uh, I've cleaned all this out the day. Um, nothing really, uh, nothing at all growing here actually. I've just got that light uh, for the giants in the in the winter. I'll I'll do a little uh, review of that at the end of this video. Just show you how how that's going. Um, just put the paving stones down in the the polytunnel. Um, we have got. Uh, the, 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 the Shirley tomatoes on the right there. They're in an auto pot system. Uh, these are the long leeks which we're going to be growing for Malvern, but they're not really. I'll not be going to Malvern this year, so just having a crack at them anyway, just for a bit of fun. And we have got a giant pumpkin plant, just for comparison. That's behind there. Um, we've got a pumpkin set on it. A bit late, but it's just really for the kids and stuff to have a crack at growing. I'm trying to find one. Uh, can't find it anyway. But uh, there's definitely a couple of pumpkins starting to grow on there. They'll just be for fun anyway, so... Yeah, that's it really. Um, plan is, tomorrow start next. Um, Going to get a couple of birds of prey. I've always been into birds of prey and stuff. I'm um, going to get a pair of goshawks. Um, so demolish that shed, extend the the shed right out of here. So in total it'll be 7 metres long by 3.6 metres away, which is absolutely huge, but there's plenty of room. Um, not block out any light of the greenhouse or anything, because the actual pitch of the roof will be lower. It's actually going to be something similar to that, but not as high spec as that one. But uh, yeah, that was a lockdown project, which I've been doing. I'll give you a quick look inside of it. I don't think there's nothing much inside. Um, that's it really. Hot tub down the bottom. And then kids play area up the top. Just need to get a little sofa bed. In today's task, I'm, I've just been digging that out. Dug the trampoline into the ground. Um, and that's ready to turf next week. And a bit of me crazy paving. So yeah, that's it really. I hope everyone's doing okay and plodding along and making the most of that time off work if you are off work some people unfortunately have to go to work um and thanks anyone who is going to work so yeah thanks for watching i'll do a quick review of this light at the end of the video cheers guys hi there i just thought i'd do a quick video um i've just getting a new grow light for the giant onions and vegetables and um I've went for um, the new Mars Hydro light. It's a, a 300 watt LED light. Don't know if you'll be able to see that under the light, but um, basically it's a 300 watt LED light with a, a double ballast and it's equivalent like a 600 watt, um, like a high powered sodium light. Um, I think it's uh, like, it, it, it's a premium light, but from a budget range, and basically what I'm going to use this for is growing um, giant onions and just starting seedlings off and stuff in the greenhouse. 
it's like perfect size for like the grow benches underneath so give us a uh, plenty of scope for growing lots of veg um with led um it's perfect for um like veg and stuff basically it i can get it as close like quite close to the plant so that um it doesn't burn the tips of the plants like what a high powered sodium light would do so this uh, the Mars Hydro light will basically uh, just replace the high powered sodium lights which I've got and hopefully it will give us just as good results as what the um, high powered sodium lights do so that's the spec there this is the um, the 2000 model uh, I'll put a link in the description below but um, basically it seems like a good bit of kit like uh, looking forward to using it so yeah that's it just thought i could do a quick review and um, what i'm gonna do is 